In November 2018, California was hit by the deadliest week of wildfires in state history. 88 people were killed and it destroyed thousands of homes in the cities of Malibu and Paradise. In her new documentary, Bring Your Own Brigade, Oscar-nominated filmmaker Lucy Walker captures the fire's destruction and the heroism of the people who stepped up to fight it. Joining me now is Lucy Walker herself, and thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for telling these stories. Thank you. Okay, so I gotta ask, what drew you to California wildfires, particularly those? Well, you know, in the news right now, we don't need to be reminded about how terrible these fires were, are. This was four years ago, and I was thinking these fires are awful, but unfortunately, you know, they still are. So I think you can imagine, I was thinking, well, gosh, I want to understand this issue in a kind of deeper way. I was confused. I'd come from London and New York where we put fires out. Mm -hmm. So I moved to California, and I thought, well, am I safe? I was honestly frightened. And also confused. I thought, well, what is this story? Why aren't we putting them out? What's what's going on here? And I think in the four years since I began, we've only seen the problem grow. So I think I was kind of onto something that this was something that we really should be paying attention to and finding out, can we be doing anything differently as residents? Yeah, that's a pretty interesting point. Let me ask you this. Um, what similarities or differences did you discover between the two fires, the one in Paradise and the one in Malibu? Well, gosh, they're very different communities. They're kind of the north and south ends of the state. They're the richest and poorest in a way. The median home price burning in Paradise was 200,000. In Malibu, I think it was 2 million. And yet, if your home's burning, if your business is burning, if you're personally being threatened by fire, you know, our skin burns just the same and our fears are just the same. And, um, you know, so everywhere I think the same destruction, animals, I mean, this is, this is our landscape, no matter who we are. And I think also the question of what's to blame and who's to blame, for me, it came into sharp focus by looking at the case studies of these two different fires. And the film takes a really close look on the ground, embedded with firefighters and residents through those fires, mm -hmm. but it actually also really aspires to see the big picture. I wanted to get to the bottom of these fires that are burning even up till today. So it's not just about those two fires, it's really, about this whole picture that we're having. And frankly, it's not just California, it's the world. Okay, so you said you were kind of new to the situation. What surprised you most about the fires? I think I had gone in thinking it was just climate change, and mm. climate change is making these fires worse with extreme events and hotter temperatures, but that's not all. And I learned about some of the other factors that I had no idea about, and ultimately that left me with some hope because climate change is hard to feel optimistic about right now, I think, and it's a bigger problem that is very overwhelming. But individually and as communities, there are things that we can do to be safer and have safer communities and just live with fire in a different way. And that was really encouraging to me as a California resident. Well, I'm excited to see this documentary special. When can we see it? Where can we see it? What, what's the details? Because I'm watching for it. The film is opening in lots of movie theaters from tomorrow, August 6th, and then it'll be streaming on Paramount Plus and CBS N from August 20th. All right, thank you so much for especially covering this story because we can't cover it enough and we have to figure out a solution. Thank you so much for joining us today on The Four. Th thank you.